With the jury's verdict in favor of Johnny Depp, Team Amber Heard has been expressing their disappointment. The actress called the judgment a setback for women who faced abuse. The jury decided that the article that Amber Heard did defame the Pirates of the Caribbean actor. As Johnny Depp claimed, the article was the reason he lost a number of major roles. After the results came out, the actor thanked the jury and said that they gave him his life back. But the actress and her team aren't happy. Her lawyer now places blame on the cameras and social media. During her appearance on the CBS Mornings, Elaine Bredhoft talked about their loss in the trial. With co-hosts Gail King, Tony Doe Kuppel, and Nate Burleson, she discussed how the verdict was a setback. This is because many survivors of abuse do not have any proof and heard loss despite all the proof she presented. She, first, blamed Johnny Depp's fame and his team for demonizing the Aquaman actress. According to her, the jury might have been influenced by social media. She said, not only did we have a group of Depp fans that were there every day, but also we had everything on camera and we had tremendous social media that was very much against Amber. She even mentioned how Amber Heard received threats online. She even compared social media to the Roman Colosseum. Also, she added that Depp's team wasn't fighting fair. Elaine Bredhoff said that a lot of evidence that came up in the UK trial did not come up in this trial, according to experts. The personal damage that the trial has caused both the actors is too much and no studio would be ready to deal with it as of now. It will take a lot of time for both of them to get their career back on track. It could be easier for Johnny Depp as the verdict was in his favor. Only time can tell for sure whether he can get back to the A-list where he used to be before the allegations surfaced. For Amber Heard, it will be way harder. Looking at the hatred she received during the trial and the number of people who signed the petition to get her role, cut from the Aquaman sequel, it will be a real challenge. Any studio that would give her a chance anytime soon would face a huge backlash.